Hey, welcome back to 41 Today. Making Pops is back Friday night, changing people's perception of the word orchestra. Steve Murray joins us. You're the drummer, one of the drummers there, uh, and also the co-founder of Making Pops. I am. Uh, this orchestra is not, you know, raise your pinky while you're drinking hot tea. You know, this is fun, exciting. Uh, how are you guys changing the, the uh, oh, phrase? It's one big party. It's what we like to say. It's one really hip nightclub with mm -hmm. a 40-piece orchestra. We have a dance floor. We have four bars. Uh, come as you want. You can dress up. You can dress down. We don't care. Um, and we try to make it accessible. Um, this program in particular that we're performing Friday is the third incarnation of our Dancing Through the, de through the Decades. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I guess you could say show, and we feature dance music from the 1940s, so Duke Ellington all the way through today, so you'll hear a little bit of Justin Timberlake, you might hear a little Beyonce, Ooh. you might hear a little Taylor Swift, you might hear a little Bruno Mars, you might mm -hmm. hear a little Michael Jackson, just to give you what and, we can do. And it really is for everybody, and keep in mind, Steve, you're a uh, Grammy-nominated drummer, so I mean, this is world-class music we're talking here. It is. You know, uh, my co-founder, Matt Kattengoop, who is our artistic director and conductor, is a Grammy Award-winning arranger. He is a master of what he does, bringing the music to life. We come up with these great concepts, but he's the one that has to put <laughs> the music together. Right. And we handpick all of our musicians, uh, and they come from all over the state. We have m musicians from Macon and the greater Atlanta area, but we fly people in occasionally, and now we have a waiting list of musicians that are vying to play with us. And you're basically, the pitch to the community is, come on out, wear what you want, have fun, drink, eat good food, and dance to orchestra music. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a way to hopefully break down the barriers that people have with an orchestra and maybe get them interested in seeing uh, some of the other offerings that we have in the community. There's so much music happening uh, with chamber music and we have the Macon Symphony and what we're doing and if we can entice people to explore what else we have in our community. So, yeah. and, and, and I have to say, when people say there's nothing to do in Macon, they are I, I'll be nice. They're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot. There's a lot. And, and you mentioned that something like Macon Pops is also good for Macon because this is kind of exclusive to Macon in a way. Well, it is. Some of the shows that we started here in Macon are now going and getting picked up by other orchestras. In fact, uh, one of the concerts we uh, debuted here, a program called Classically Jazzed, we, um, a concerto that Matt wrote for my wife, Amy Schwartz Moretti, who's a violinist and director of the Robert McDuffie Center for Strings, we performed that in Japan two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're doing it in, with the Omaha Symphony next season and Buffalo Philharmonic. And, uh, but our Dancing Through the Decades has been performed with a couple of orchestras in Canada and here. So, but these programs start, are born here in Macon. Yeah. So we're bringing Macon with us wherever we go. Too cool, too cool. A little bit of a change of venue this year. Uh, Steve, how, where's it going to be and how can people uh, get tickets? Well, and we are excited there? because we're going to be at the Hawkins Arena on, on Mercer's campus. Uh, so we're, we're growing up a little bit. We're trying Big to expand time, our, yeah. our audience. Uh, and you can get tickets through uh, makingpops.com. Okay. You can click on the link. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, you can buy tickets at the door. Uh, tickets go through Mercer Ticketing. So there is a ticketing fee. I know people, you know, yeah. if you've ever been to a Mercer game yeah. or anything, there's a little fee on top of that. <laughs> uh, but beyond that, they're, they're, they're $20 general admission and $10 for students and faculty and staff from any school. So as long as you have your ID, you get it for $10. Bucks, plus, the, plus the fee. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Steve. Thanks Sounds for having like me. an awesome time. Megan Pops coming up this Friday night. We'll be right back.